This is Kimberly Maska and Everett O'Keefe, along with myself, Becky Norwood, and Natalie McQueen, and we are celebrating a book launch today. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so, Kimberly, tell us about this book that you have written with the Spiritual Biz Publishing, and oh my goodness, are you a spiritual entrepreneur? We are so excited to support you on this endeavor, and we want to hear all about your wonderful book. Hold it up, celebrate! Right. So here, it, <laughs> here it is. Thank you, and thank you for having me and and being able to discuss this. This is a very important work that uh, that I'm super excited to see come out. So this is this is the book. So, um, are you a spiritual entrepreneur? And, you know, it's really been birthed out of my journey of working with spiritual entrepreneurs and, and seeing that they have these amazing gifts that they're ready to take out into the world to be able to change people's lives and to shift consciousness on this planet. And yet sometimes they get stuck because they start to think, can I actually have a business that's spiritual? It's a bit of an oxymoron for them. And because they get stuck with that, well, this book is the perfect answer because it actually shows you if you think you are a spiritual entrepreneur that you can do it. And I give you the six shifts that my clients use to be able to create their six figure spiritual businesses so that they can shift consciousness on the planet. This is fascinating because I had seen that so many times myself as we've worked with a lot of authors as well, um, that they don't really understand the full concept behind being able to actually make the money when, and also be a spiritual entrepreneur. So how is it that you, you, what are your practices for guiding people that are in this, this realm? I think the, the biggest thing that people like the, the largest hurdle that someone has to get over to really own this, that you can be spiritual and have a business is that you see energy as money because we've been conditioned um, to think that money is something bad, that there's some sort of negative energy behind it. But money, money's just energy. It's like everything else, everything, this, this camera that we have, this news feed, all of it is just energy. And so when you look at money and you look at it as energy and you really understand that if it's a thought from source or God or the one creator, whatever the word is that resonates with you the most, but if it's a thought from source, then of course it's an amazing thing. And, and even though it was created by man, the thought still came from source. So when we look at it that way and we realize that it's just energy, then it's about the energy we put into it. And when we understand that it's, if we can imbue amazing energy into money, then when you create the money, you can do incredible things with it. And, you know, some people would say, well, it'd be great to have a world with no money, but that's not where we are right now. Our reality and where we are in this dimension and density is that we have money. It's very much a part of our culture. And so let's use it for the good instead of looking at it as a negative thing and sitting in scarcity. Right. I really liked how you used the mindset and worked with your um, clients in the book, talking or showing them that what they do is a gift and it's worthy of that transaction of money and it makes it complete. Yes. There, there has to be an energy exchange right. and it has to be in balance. And I think that's another trap that spiritual entrepreneurs fall into is they just want to help the people. They're like, I just want to help. I just want to help. And so when they do that and they start giving their gift away for free, they're actually doing themselves and the client a disservice because the client isn't valuing what they're getting, so they're not gonna use it. Like, think about the last time you got something for free. You get it for free, and then what do you do? You don't really use it, it sits there, and then you chuck it. Or how many free eBooks have we gotten, or how many things we've been at some conference, and we get all this stuff, we bring it home, and where does it sit, in a pile on the floor or on a shelf? So when there's no value associated, when you, don't, when you haven't put your own energy in, into it, then we dismiss it. So it's so important to, you, I tell my clients that you, as a spiritual leader, you don't charge for you, you charge for the client because you want them to change their life. You want them to have an amazing connection with source so that they're in flow and living their purpose. And how are they gonna do that? They have to commit to themselves. And in this, in this arena, we commit to ourselves with money and that's where that value exchange comes in. It's I think cool. it's super, super valuable. And by the way, if people want to pick up a copy of Are You a Spiritual Entrepreneur, you can find it right now on Amazon. And for launch today, I know um, Kimberly's new publishing company, which we will also be talking about, 
um, it has set the book at 99 cents for the Kindle version. So you can go get the Kindle version for just 99 cents. And we highly encourage everyone watching this to do this. Uh, the paperback is at retail price. Um, and if you, let's say you don't really read Kindle, but you really read paperback, please buy the Kindle anyway, because you'll be helping Kimberly <laughs> out with this launch. And by the way, the reason this launch, we do this launch this way is because the more success the book has in its initial 24 hours, the more people who will be impacted by the message um, in the years to come. So please, by all means, help by buying the Kindle version. Just go to Amazon and you can either search for Kimberly Masca or Are You a Spiritual Entrepreneur, which I'll hold up there. Hopefully, there we go. Get the reflection out. Um, and find that. And of course, we'll also have a link here uh, along with this, uh, with this uh, video. The post, yes. So I find that the subject matter to me is really interesting because I, I think that we have the, the concept that many of us have been taught with that root, money's root of all evil, but I think it's totally the opposite lack of money is the root of all evil for what it causes. And it's that mindset that, that um, can transform through the whole process is when you realize the value of who you are and align yourself with that energy, things change. Yes, in a major way. And we truly see that as the greatest hurdle when people join my program. So I have a program called Spiritual Biz Bootcamp where we're actually showing the clients, how do you take all of these steps to make it happen? And in that process, we really do see that the biggest thing is that, you know, do I deserve the money? Am I worthy of the money? And I try to get them to shift consciousness about that just a little bit and saying that it's not so much about the value of you because we are invaluable. So I, I, I actually, when people say charge what you're worth, I'm like, Ooh, that's the, you, that's the wrong idea because we truly are invaluable, but charge the value of the results you get your clients. That's the key. That's the difference. And when you can charge based off of the value, then you can see why there needs to be an energy exchange and how valuable that is to the client. Mm, very much. Very, very, very powerful. So uh, Everett mentioned and you've mentioned that there's going to be a spiritual biz pu publishing. How does this come into, into the picture and what's your vision for this? Sure. So I have this, this uh, amazing vision that I've seen for years of creating this spiritual empire is really what it is. And so for those of you that, that aren't familiar with me, everything kind of starts with spiritual biz. So I've got spiritual biz boot camp. We now have Spiritual Biz Publishing. There's a Spiritual Biz Mastery. We have a magazine as well called Spiritual Biz Magazine. And so each one of these together helps the spiritual entrepreneurs shift consciousness around themselves, which then allows them to step out and shift consciousness on the planet. And Spiritual Biz Publishing came to me because right now there's so many people awakening. And what's happening is that the, the act of writing is putting the energy that these, my clients are feeling and that they're going through. A lot of my clients channel, they're receiving information from source and they've got to put it somewhere and they're starting to write. So almost every single one of my clients has a book within them, mm -hmm. whether they've written it already or they haven't written it yet. So I started playing with the idea with the publishing company and Here's my thing, as I actually say, and this kind of triggers some people, but I believe the greatest crime in publishing is that people are allowed to put out a book and aren't shown how to monetize it. Right. And you see people spend thousands of dollars. It is not cheap putting these little guys out here. You get to spend a lot of time and energy and a team and editing and everything that you need to be able to get your book out there. And then what? So what I do is I show my clients how to create a platform so that when they launch their book that they can actually monetize it. So Spiritual Biz Publishing is created with that intention because again, only when we are um, having the abundance, abundance of money come to us can that we then use it out in the world in the right ways. So Spiritual Biz Publishing will be directly tied to my Spiritual Biz Bootcamp program so that people know A, how to create a platform, B, that I know that they are truly serving on the planet and helping humankind shift their consciousness and then from there they create the book and I show them how to tie that all together so they can actually monetize all the information that they are putting in there so that again there's this energy exchange with all the information that they're giving away they're able to receive it back as well. That is so exciting because one of the things that we have seen with some of the authors that we've worked with is the fact that they don't get that piece. They don't understand it. And then when their books are published and they've even 
reached number one bestseller. I always call it being lost in the cobwebs of cyberspace. And it doesn't go anywhere. And it's a, it's a shame because, because it's such valuable. It's their heart, their soul, their everything that they, they are, but they're not, they don't understand that piece of it and having, and that relationship with money. And yeah. so this is your, what you're teaching is very inspired and it's beautiful because it's so needed in our society, in our world. Yeah, because again, if you have this amazing information, I mean, the whole reason why you're writing a book is because you have this burning information inside of you that must get out there. And if you do that, and then there's, there's no one to see it. There's like, you know, if you're lucky, what most people might sell 100, 150 books, and that's not getting that information out there. So I really do concentrate on showing my clients, how do you build this platform so that you can shift consciousness everywhere? Awesome. What I liked in your book is you could, you could feel um, how you wanted to give back. You had so many different links that people can go and get more information and, and learn how to, you know, build their own business and, and all the tools that you use. And I think it was like shift number six um, with your client, Cheryl. And this is such a key factor is so many authors say, I want to affect everyone in the world. I want everybody to be my client. And that is so much. I love that you address that. Can you talk about that a little bit? Sure. So that's, yeah, that's a big thing. So it's in here in shift number six, I say that you can't serve everyone. And that's again, this trapped at spiritual entrepreneurs and really everyone who wants to serve, we fall into because we want to help everybody, right. but you can't help everyone. And I always, I kind of jokingly use the example of the Bible. It's the most popular book on the planet, yet not everybody owns one. And so if not everyone owns the Bible, not everyone is going to want to receive your service or have your book. So you've got to be able to find the clients that are going to have the, the receive the biggest impact from you. So I say that our clients that we should be working with, we have a soul connection with them. These are souls that we've known before, whether it's a past life, a past density, however that connection has happened, they know us and they're looking to find us now in this reality. And so we have to be able to speak to those clients so that they can find us. Because they're searching. Right. There's no doubt. If you have a book and you're this burning inside of it and you've got information, there are people searching for the information you have. So if they're searching for that information, you have to be able to connect. And that connection, there's just so much noise now with social media and everything. It's just we have so much coming at us. You have to be able to find and pinpoint the clients that you're truly serving so that you can have that connection point. Cause only when you truly connect with your clients, can you serve them and help them change their lives? Well, I think that when it's on your heart to share something like that and you listen, then it's important to, there is a reason for that and it's important to get it out there to the world and do it in the right way. Yeah. Yeah. What a beautiful inspiration you are in. And, and it's so exciting to see this path that you're, that you were on. Thank you. Kimberly, I wanted to ask you about shift number four, which was um, see your business as a vehicle to serve. I think that's something that people struggle with. I think they don't, I think it, 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 I think that is a challenge. Can you talk to that, talk about that a little bit? Sure, absolutely. So yeah, so shift number four, it's like, Again, spiritual entrepreneurs, they want to help everybody. They just want to serve. And we'll, you know, we'll talk to people. We, or my team talks with uh, potential clients every day. And we're, we're kind of particular who we work with because we've got to make sure they're really serving the planet to be able to shift consciousness. And so they'll say like, I just want to help the people. We're like, great. Do you have a spiritual business? And they're like, no. And I'm like, then how are you helping? Because you need to have a vehicle to truly serve. You have to have a platform. You have to have a way to connect with the clients. You have to know who those clients are. There's so many pieces that are encompassed in a business. And when you have a business and that you can say, yes, not only, yes, I have a business, but yes, I've taken the time and the energy to make myself an expert so that I know how to serve you. And it's that, that looking at the business as this vehicle, that's how you're really going to serve. So when someone says like, I just want to help people, I'm like, great, do you have a business? And a business, I got to say, is also not a nonprofit. Nonprofits, well, <laughs> lovely, you're, it, it's the energy exchanges off because you're too busy asking people for things. You're asking, asking, asking instead of doing an energy exchange. So I always tell my clients, go build a successful business and then create your own nonprofit that you don't have to ask anybody for the money for and you can serve that way. Yeah, I, th I think that's excellent. I think another area where, where I know you've seen people struggle is this whole idea of 
who am I to offer my expertise? Mm -hmm. to who am I to call myself an expert, an authority, et cetera? And um, how, would you, how would you respond to that, Kimberly? Yeah, so that who am I, this is another one of those huge hurdles that we have to get people over so that they can start serving. So the who am I, we have to remember that we're, we're all children of source of God, of the one creator. And, and we've been given these lives for a reason. We're here for a reason on this planet. If we're still sitting here in this 3D talking to each other, we still have a purpose. And so knowing that we have a purpose, we know there's a reason why we're here and we got to figure out what that reason is. And 99% of my clients, what happens is their life experiences happen to them to get them to awaken so that they can see where they need to be connected with source. They can see the disconnection that's happened in their life. And so because they've lived it, they've had that experience, they've healed themselves from that experience. They are the expert. They've done it. They've done it and they've done it successfully. So people always ask like, do I need to have a, you know, a life coach certification or where do I get certified in X, Y, and Z? And I'm like, most of my clients don't have certifications. In fact, quite fascinating. I even have clients who have PhDs in various things who put that on the shelf to then take their life experience and teach off of their life experiences because that's where the real connection is with the other clients because we all experience the similar and same things. So that's the connection point and that's what makes someone an expert. And then when you do something like working with a team like my team and to be able to create a business as your vehicle, then you're a professional about what you're really doing and you've dialed it in. That's it couldn't awesome. be said better because, uh, you know, we've, we all know about the road of hard knocks and the things that, that come our way, but those are really the, the, the proving ground for, for guiding us to the life that we're truly meant to live. And it's the, that experience that, that if we allow ourselves, we're able to take that knowledge and that experience and our own personal growth and make a difference for others. So let me remind everybody, the book is available on Amazon right now, 99 cents for the Kindle version, uh, I think 14.95 for the paperback. And um, that 99 cents will not last, by the way. Uh, that is a launch special only that will disappear in the next 24 to 48 hours. So definitely um, get your copy uh, of Kimberly's book and help support her launch. And also, if you think of any other people that you think could really benefit from learning how to basically be a spiritual entrepreneur to create a spiritually based business. And by all means, share a link to the book, uh, buy a copy for them, gift the uh, Kindle or paperback to them, share this video, et cetera. All of those things are valuable to help kind of help get the word out. Kimberly, we celebrate with you as you become a number one best-selling author <laughs> in this whole, this whole path that you've taken. And, and we think that we are just honored to be able to share this this time with you. Well, thank you very much because it's taken your energy to make this happen. And so <laughs> I couldn't, I always say, I, you know, I can't do it on my own. I have to be able to have teams like you guys and, and my team that I have that works with the clients and frankly, all of the listeners and viewers out there because it's the collective consciousness of all of us that are going to make a change and a shift on the planet. And this is just the first step. Yes, I've heard the saying, the power of we elevates me. So this is how it goes. Yeah. Exactly. Kimberly, if someone's watching this right now and they know that either A, they need to get in touch with you to learn more about creating a spiritual business, or if they decide, wow, you know what, I know I have a book in me and it's time to finally make that happen. Um, how would you recommend they go about contacting you? Sure. So I think the best way for both of those, you can get an idea of how, how I work and what I teach. And if you, if you grab the book, you'll know exactly how I work and teach, or you can go to spiritualbizsuccess.com. Right. So Spiritual Biz Success will take you to a free training that I have that talks more in depth about all of this and about creating your business. And at the end of that, if you resonate and you feel that we're a vibrational match, you can actually book a call with my team and my team will help you with anything that you need and see if you are a vibrational fit with us to be able to create your spiritual business and be one of the 5,000 spiritual entrepreneurs that I am helping build their businesses over the next five years. So maybe you are one of the 5,000. Perfect. Awesome. Congrats again on getting your book out. This is a huge accomplishment. Um, and, and, 
And something else happened recently too. What what would you would you share that? <laughs> <Even> more reason <laughs> to celebrate. Yes. A little a little thing called getting married. So yes, that happened uh gosh, like a week and a half ago, right? <laughs> Which we would not normally recommend you we don't like a book launch in America. <laughs> right. So many just so many things, but that's part of you know, that's part of the process. And so actually frankly the wedding went so smoothly and incredibly just easy and it was like the calmest day of my life that that this it just, it's a perfect segue into the book launch because awesome. this feels very easy and and it just it, it flows when you're doing what you're supposed to be doing it all just flows naturally so yeah we definitely wouldn't recommend doing a wedding and a book together but a few people like yourself <laughs> it happen. So congratulations awesome. on both yeah. thank you so much cause for celebration Did I <laughs>